Hey, it's Ashley from Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we are going to go over metric system conversions for the T7 exam. So we'll talk about some tips, some tricks, and some practice problems. So if you are studying for your nursing exam, then this is a great video to check out. Before we jump into it, make sure you check out the link in the description of this video for our free online practice test for the T7 exam, as well as our full online course, our Facebook group, so today we will talk about our nursing metric table, which are some conversions you want to memorize, the metric conversion mnemonic that will help you convert within the metric system, and then we'll do a bunch of example problems straight from our practice tests. So let's jump into it. This metric table for nurses is ones that you want to memorize. A few of these I will note that there will be a mnemonic, again, that I will show you in a few minutes that will be really helpful. but. Overall, if you could memorize these conversions, you will be in a really good place for your T7 exam. So the first ones we'll talk about are mass. So we're talking about grams, micrograms, milligrams, and then also pounds to kilograms. So 1,000 micrograms is equal to one milligram. 1,000 milligrams is equal to one gram. 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So notice how all of these are 1,000 of the smaller unit is equal to this larger unit that we're using. So these are really helpful to memorize. And the last mass conversion you want to memorize is that 2.2 pounds is equal to one kilogram. So all of these are really helpful. These two in the middle here, milligrams to grams and grams to kilograms. When I talk about the mnemonic, I will show you a way to get around memorizing this. However, it is really just a great thing to have in your back pocket. So if you wanna take a screenshot of this slide, I would definitely suggest pausing the video, taking a quick screenshot so you have your conversions to memorize. We also have some conversions for volume. So volume, we're talking about milliliters, ounces, cc's, teaspoons, tablespoons, a lot of different conversions here. So a lot of these, we really have to memorize, there's not really a workaround. So 30 milliliters is equal to one ounce. One milliliter is equal to one cc, one cubic centimeter. One teaspoon is equal to five milliliters. 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Three teaspoons is equal to one tablespoon. One tablespoon is equal to 15 milliliters. And then two tablespoons is equal to one ounce. So all of these are really great to memorize. Again, when we talk about our mnemonic, you may see that this one, milliliters to liters, there is a workaround using that mnemonic that can be helpful. But again, feel free to take a screenshot of this slide so that you have it to study. So let's talk about this mnemonic a little bit. So what this stands for as a mnemonic is King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. So if you've ever heard some form of that, King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk, that is a way for us to remember how to convert between the metric, metric system. So K, kilos, hecto, deca, and then W I use for the whole unit. So depending on what unit we're using, this may be grams, meters, liters, okay? And then deci, centi, and milli, okay? So this is basically how we will convert from one unit to the other. So just an example of how this works. Let's say that I am starting with 100, let's say, deciliters, okay? So 100 deciliters, and then I wanna go to centiliters. So that equals how many centiliters? So I'm basically going to start here at deciliters. And I'm going to have to swoop one, two, three times. Notice the direction I'm going to the right. So what that tells me is that if I have the number 100 and my decimal is here, it's essentially telling me what I'm doing with my decimal. So I'm swooping it one, two, three times to the right. And then I'm just filling in my placeholders there. So this is equal to 100,000 centiliters. Okay, so I will show you how this could be helpful in a few examples from our practice test, as well as some of the conversions that we just talked about using those if you are not a fan of the mnemonic. So now you have two strategies that can help you. Okay, so let's go over a few examples. If a doctor is converting a medical dose for a prescription of two grams into milligrams, what will the dosage be? So we are going from grams to milligrams. So if you remember to go from grams to milligrams, all you have to do is multiply by 1,000. So that may be uh, the strategy that you choose. Just multiply by 1,000 and you should get 2,000. If you are using the mnemonic, 
King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk just takes, you know, one second to write down. And then I'm going from grams to milligrams, one, two, three times to the right. So if I'm looking at my number two and I'm sweeping three times to the right, I'm also going to get 2000. How about this one? A patient is instructed to take 400 milligrams of medicine per dose. If the prescribing doctor gave the patient eight grams of medicine, how many doses does the patient have? So I have a word problem here that I have to kind of figure out what I need to do. So I have 400 milligrams and then, and that's per dose. And then we are given eight grams total. So we have to choose, are we going to convert milligrams to grams or grams to milligrams? In this case, I think I would choose to start with the eight grams and convert that into milligrams. So again, if you remember, we can just multiply by 1000 or we can use our mnemonic. Either way, you should get 8,000 milligrams. So this right here is my total. Now I know that we have 400 milligrams per dose. So because I have the same unit, now I can do some division here. 8,000 divided by 400 should give me 20 doses to get to that total. Okay, so converting to the same unit and then figuring out what, um, what operation might be helpful depending on what they're asking. Okay, here's another one. A doctor wrote a prescription to give a patient the pills that are only 10 milligrams each. The patient received a prescription for a total of 1.5 grams. How many total pills will the patient have to take? So again, do I want to go from grams to milligrams or milligrams to grams? That is really up to you. I tend to choose to go from the larger unit of grams to milligrams just because then I'm not dealing with a really small decimal that I'm trying to do math with, trying to do arithmetic with. So I'm just going to go from grams to milligrams. And again, multiplying by 1000, you notice that number came up a lot when we were looking at our conversions. So this again, this is our total. And if each pill has 10 milligrams, all I have to do is take 1,500 and divide it by the 10 milligrams in each pill, and I should get 150. Okay, so here's a great question for you to maybe try if you're feeling pretty confident in this. You can pause the video, give this one a shot. If you want to do it with me, I will jump into it now. A nurse must administer a total of 5,000 milligrams of medicine to her patient, but is instructed to only provide 0.25 grams of medicine every two hours. How many doses will the patient receive? So again, do we want to go from milligrams to grams or grams to milligrams? A lot of the times what I've been doing is taking the larger unit of grams and converting it into milligrams. This one I'll just show you if we were to go from milligrams to grams, I would take 5,000 milligrams and converting that into grams. This time I have to divide by 1,000. So this would only be five grams. So again, if I was looking at my mnemonic, King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk, and I'm going from milligrams to grams, I'm going to go one, two, three to the left this time. So that's where my decimal is moving in my number three to the left. So five grams, again, is my total. And if I can use 0 0.25, Every two hours, that's what we are providing. That's what we will divide by. So five divided by 0 0.25 should give me 20 doses. A pharmacist needs to fill a prescription of 10 grams of medicine in the form of pills. If the pills are designed to be 100 milligrams of medicine each, how many pills does the physician, I'm sorry, does the pharmacist need to fill the prescription? So 10 grams is the total amount of medicine and the pills are 100 milligrams each. So let's go from grams to milligrams. So again, the more you do this, the easier it is to memorize. We're going from grams to milligrams, we're multiplying by 1000. So this would be 10,000 milligrams. And if there's 100 milligrams in each pill, I'm gonna take my total, divide it by 100, and I should get that I will need 100 pills for that prescription. Cool. All right, a couple more questions that we will try together. A nurse needs to administer 0 0.8 grams of medicine to a patient every two hours until the patient has received 3,200 milligrams worth of medicine. If the nurse is prompt in her care, how many times will the nurse give the patient medicine? So 0 0.8 grams is the dosage and 3,200 is the total. Okay, so either way we do this is fine. Let's try it both ways. So let's take 0 0.8 grams and convert it into milligrams. So I'm going to multiply by 1,000. 
So that should give me 800 milligrams. So if that is my dose, if I take 3,200, which is my total, divide by that, I should get four doses. If I had done this the other way and taken 3,200 milligrams to convert to grams, instead of multiplying, I would divide and you would get 3.2 grams. Now that is our total and we would divide it by the 0 0.8 grams in our dose and also we would get four. So as long as you have the same unit, you will get the correct answer. All right, here's our last question. Again, feel free to pause this one and try it on your own or just stick along with me and we will wrap this up. A nurse needs to administer 0 0.5 grams of medicine to a patient every hour so the patient has received 2,500 milligrams worth of medicine. If the nurse is prompt in her care, how many times will the nurse give the patient medicine? So I'm going to just take my 0 0.5 grams per dose and convert that into milligrams. So multiply by 1,000, you would get 500 milligrams. That is per dose. So the total of 2,500 when I divide it by the dose, should tell me that I will need five doses of medicine in order to get to that 2,500 total. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave us a comment if this is helpful or what other type of questions you might need help with on your T7 exam. And don't forget to check the link, the links in the description of this video for more practice. See you in the next video.